Okay, today I'm going to show you how to do a side-by-side -side effect or masking so that you can have like two videos next to each other. This is often useful in creating a two-sided phone conversation in Premiere Pro. I'm going to show you two methods to do this. So let's get rid of this one. The first thing I'm going to say is if you can, try to film it in portrait versus landscape. So as you can see, this video clip is done in portrait to make it a little bit easier. And what I'm going to do is just drag and drop that onto my timeline. Now this pop-up is, of course, because as you can see, the timeline I'm editing is in landscape and this is in portrait. So I don't want to change my settings. I want to keep my existing settings. So that way it's going to be side by side. I'm going to take my second clip and do the same thing, drag it on there, but I'm going to put it above the first clip. Now I can just click on the top one. I'm going to go to my effects control and I'm going to adjust my position so that it's side by side. I'm going to click the bottom one and I'm going to adjust my position. All I'm doing here is left clicking with my mouse and dragging it to the left. So we've got a lot of black space. So next thing I'm going to do is hover over scale and I'm going to click with my mouse. I'm going to drag it to the right to increase the scale and grab the top one increase the scale and that's basically all there is to this I'm gonna be reasonably quick about it but you get the point hopefully you get the point anyways that you're just moving stuff around if I've cut a bit to top top of the hair off I can just drop the position a little bit increase the scale on that one a little bit so that way it's off to the right same thing with the bottom one a bit larger drop it a little bit and there you go so if this were playing I would, I'm going to mute it I'm going to have two sides of a conversation of people talking so that's a quick easy method but let's say you didn't shoot it in portrait and you shot it in landscape again as most people do filmmaking in landscape so I'm just dragging and dropping my clips onto the side onto the timeline just like I did before but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some masking. So first thing I'm going to do is grab my top clip and I'm going to put that where I want it to be in regards to the position in the scale. So I'm going to move just a bit to the left because I want my head in frame and I want all the stuff here to the right out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and we've got these opacity options here. So I'm going to click on that. You can use the pen and just free draw it or you can use the four point mask. And notice what it did when I clicked on it there, it automatically added a mask. I'm gonna do one more thing. I've got it set to fit so that that way it fills the screen. I'm gonna drop this to say 25% and this will make it a little bit easier as I'm dragging the edges. So I'm literally just clicking with my mouse and dragging each edge up to where I want it. And notice I'm going, this is why I switched to 25% so I can go farther off screen with it. Because once it's off screen, it doesn't really matter. But I don't want to accidentally have a little bit of it on screen. One last thing I want to change here before I switch to the other clip. Notice under mask feather, which it's by default at 10%. This will create a little bit of a feathering effect around the edge. I don't want that, so I'm just going to set that to zero. So now I'm going to click the bottom clip. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to opacity. And I'm going to click on create four point polygon mask click on it automatically adds one right in the center there I'm just going to drag my edges out of the way and I'm going to start putting it where I want it now what I didn't do on this one is I didn't actually move the video clip where I wanted it before doing the mask so notice what will happen when I go to position I'm going to drag it to the right it takes that mask with it and so I'll need to then readjust the mask again to get it to where I want it. And if I want a little bit of black space, just leave a bit of black space in between the two. Still a bit more. And I'm going to drop that feather down to zero. Click off of it to give you an idea of what it looks like. And notice now we've got two clips side by side. Let's fit it to screen. So I'm a bit off center on the bottom there. 
So just re-click on it again, click on mask, and notice since I'm off screen now, I'm gonna have to drop that and adjust it just a bit. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good, I'm happy with that. And that is how you do a side-by-side -side phone conversation. Just imagine I have a phone in my ear in this video. As always, hope you found that useful. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did like it. If you didn't like it, well, don't give it a thumbs down. Just, you know, move on to the next video that you might like better. All right. Have a good day.